This is the man of the hour right now, Nipsey Hussle, up and coming rap star here in South LA, straight out of the neighborhood, straight out of the streets of Los Angeles. And we're gonna see if we can catch up with him for a second and see what's going on with his life, his career, and anything else he's willing to talk to us about. Niggas is getting locked up and washed up, so we we, we making conscious efforts ourselves. You know what I'm saying? To 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 teach our young niggas and 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 our young folks. You know what I'm saying? That this a dead end road that you gonna end up crashing to a brick wall, homie. So, you know, it's all good to keep a hood and be a man out here, but at the same time, like you know, you gotta make decisions for your future. So, if anything, it, it slowed down because young niggas, <clears throat> young people like myself, and people like J Rock and people like 211 and people like Glass Malone and all them that's that's moving in different directions but that's still involved in they in their area and still, you know what I'm saying, around as as a as a role model to that young dudes that's coming up under them. We making that decision. So if anything the crime is slowed down because we making a conscious effort to slow it down. I mean I got big plans, you know, for the future. Like immediate future I got um my, my solo debut coming out. Like I said, it's called South Central Data State of Mind. It's coming out this summer, 2009, between June and September. We finna set the release date in the next month or two. Um, after that, you know, I'm, 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 I got my, my feet in the business world also. Like, I know it's 2009, the industry different. The artist gotta be an artist and a businessman at the same time. So I got my company, that's all money in, no money out. And that's, you know, my incorporation. It's, it's, it's like, we doing music, we doing videos, we doing uh, movies and everything of that nature. Anything, entertainment. But um, the first project we putting out is the Slauson Boys album. And we got that deal situated already. We starting to work on the album like in the next month or two. Um, and from there, you know, we want to just <clears throat> establish a brand. Like, you know, that's what I see it as. That's what everybody, that, that's that's what America's about, brands. That's why you can charge $150 for some Nikes and the, and the shoes that pay less cost $2. And it's made of the same material, you feel me? Because of the brand value. So that's all, you know, that, once I got laced to that, I'm like, you know, let me let me start developing a brand. All money in, no money out. Slauson Boys, that's the brand. Who do you listen to, and who do you, you know, who who gives you inspiration? <clears throat> I mean, I like a lot of the older stuff from like Jay Z, Tupac, Biggie, Nas, and then as far as right now, like I fuck with Plies, I fuck with Jay Z. I like Two Eleven shit, Two Eleven shit hard. I like J Rock shit. Um, the group that I'm a part of, the Slauson Boys, I feel like them some of the hottest, most authentic, creative from LA, the music that they produce and that I, I'm a part of as well, but I feel like it's, it's it's the best representation of the culture of LA, you feel me? And it's what I tell everybody, like down south got like a car culture and a strip club culture, New York got like a hip hop culture, LA got a gang banging culture, that's the only culture that's dominant out here. So if our music didn't reflect that, it wouldn't be authentic and it wouldn't connect with the streets. Not to say we promote gang banging, because we don't. If more than anything, we giving you the ins and the outs, the consequences of this shit, you know what I mean? Like, not just glamorize and, and how they show it on TV. Like, this is what's really gonna happen, my nigga. And get it from a motherfucker that been through it and made a conscious decision to go on the other line. Thanks for watching StreetTV.net. If you're not subscribed, please hit that button below and click the bell to receive alerts and notifications. Feel free to comment below so you can give us your feedback and be sure to watch the two related episodes to the right. If you want to support this platform or follow us on social media, visit the links in the description. And thanks for watching StreetTV.net.